So, whichever questions you have regarding in that line, you can ask sir and he is an active person to tell you uh, and give you the answers. And today, this morning, I do remember Mr. Clinton Roberts, our media president, who is the responsible person for this we have this session and uh, since his, he, is, uh, he has a busy schedule, he is unable to come to so be with us, but he has sent the best wishes to all of us. So uh, we thank him uh, because his uh, close relative, his father is here, so on his behalf, we thank Mr. Peter Rodriguez uh, for this uh, session organized for us. So we give them a big hand. <laughs> so sir, you have, uh, may you have a pleasant today session with us, with our students. So over to you. So I think they will be. Yes, I Good morning, sir. Esteem headmistress, Mr. Peter Rodriguez, your teachers, and my dear students. I was a student like you in 1973, many years back, almost 50 years back, at STPT High School, Katil. I had no parents, my father died, my mother also died, but at 10th I got Maths 100, Science 100, Social 100, Hindi 95, English 94, and got 8th rank in Karnataka. I am telling this not to praise myself. If there is a will, there is a way. I am a boy in a village, no parents, agriculture, but could become a ranch student, not to help itself. At 7, that time we had normal exams, a seven standard. I was studying in St. Francis School, near it. And the headmaster called me and said, Ronald, you become a ranch student. Put his photos come out there and was so happy. Thereafter, no looking back. I got a rank in 7, I got 10, a PUC I got a rank in 7, I got medical fee in Medari, engineering fee in Sunatkan, passed my national talents of ATC examinations, got first rank in BSc, and I can fifth rank in MSc at Mysore. I am telling this just to tell you, if you are born in a village, no problem, if your parents are not educated, no problem, if you are poor, no problem, if there is a will, there is a way. And today what we are going to have, first, what are the effective study techniques? Then, how to face examinations confidently in 8, 9 and 10? After that, what are the famous careers in arts, commerce, science, for a technique and IT? And finally, what are the government jobs for which you have to prepare from 8 itself? You see our district collector, BC and all, police officers from Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Bihar. Because they prepare for the competitive exams like IAS or J or NEET from, or NDA from A standard. I'm happy that sister has brought their A, NEET and 10 standards for it because South India is very intelligent but not hard on you. Not in home. For the last uh, now 42 years, I am with the students every day one month school. I was telling Mr. Rodriguez this week on Thursday, I am going to Katim, where I study in my high school, Sidhu Information Temple High School. On 10th, I am going to Roshila, I have an NSS camp in Turkey. And on Saturday, I am going to Bangla, the anchor of the St. John's School. So, almost every day one month school, meeting students like you. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, till master's degree, MA, MSc, I'm gone. And I'm happy that you have a program on PowerPoint. Only listening is boring, but you enjoy this on PowerPoint. One day one student comes to Swami Vivekananda and says like this, Swami, I have a problem, you have to help me. Swami says, come on, what's the problem? A boy says, Swami, every day after the class, I go home. After taking rest, after playing, I go to my study room. When I open the book, I don't get concentration. I don't feel like studying what is wrong with me. Look at the question. I want to study, but I cannot study what is wrong with me. Immediately, Swamiji says, 
young men tell what the goal in life, what you want to become, there are no answer. <coughs> Swami <Swamiji> says, <coughs> concentration depends on the interest, interest depends on the goal, the goal itself is not there, how do you get concentration? So dear student, you are now 8th, 9th, and 10th, only just one, two months left. For 10th, it is examination, 31st of March, and for others, exams will fall soon. So there should be two goals now. First goal is immediate goal of getting good marks in the final examination. During Corona time, there are no examinations who are promoted. Those of you who are in 10th standard, you have never had a serious examination so far. Those who are in 8th now, first time you are going to have an examination. 9th was the same problem. In most of the schools, the headmistress is telling me, students are coming for our sake and they are not studying because they have known that what I should say, bent up mind that I should do academic excellence. Yes, students, when I was a student, like my aim was, I do not have father, do not have mother, my life should be one of the best life. And I have got it because I got a rank student, national part, national talent, and became vice president of a very famous college, science production college, and you now going all over Karnataka to different schools, it is students like who, it's a pleasure to interact. In case I'm happy that I'm a teacher. Actually, I got medicine in Veda, engineering in Suratkal, but I don't repent because becoming a teacher is something wonderful. If you ask your teachers, a salary is not very high. If you ask Sister Aida, she may also say that teaching will not give you much money, but gives more satisfaction. I want all of you to think one career as teaching that I can create. The first part is now today about the effective methods of study and how to face examinations confidently. This is nearly a one and a half or two hour program. It requires a lot of energy. Just like when we are taking food to continue our life or we are putting petrol or diesel to our vehicles, we also need a lot of energy for this program. And what is getting energy in the training program for the student, there are programs like this ice breaking session. You have seen ice, no? All of you have seen ice? How it is hard, no? It is not flowing. If you heat water for size, water, it becomes water. You are also today in, uh, say, Ravadam Pariyat class, you have become ice. Ice is not catching anything, cannot actually, uh, cannot flow. You got thoughts how to flow, and that's why I have to start now, ice breaking session. And this is done using this nice song. When I was uh, vice principal, we had a program in Bangalore. For principals and vice principal, we had this song. My daughter finished her MBA after engineering and got a job with the new son on the first day we had what is called induction program. And there also same song has come. Now for all the training, now you are small children, when you go to PUC degree, first you have got training station. And there also this song will come because it's the most famous song. This song is like Vande Mataram or Jalangana Mataram. To sing this song correctly, you are forgetting what happened earlier and you are experiencing a new world. This song should be sung by all the students, sung, singing same time and ending same time. And all of you to think that you are in KG class, not in 8th, 9th, and 10th. And with that energy, that particular what I should say, speak, you have to sing loudly. First I will sing and later you have to sing along with me. Yes, sir. yes, look here. Hill on the ground, hill on the ground, but the ground could never be seen, but the ground could never be seen. The tree on the hill, and the tree on the hill, and the hill on the ground, but the ground could never be seen, but the ground could never be seen. There are branches on the tree, there are branches on the tree, and the tree on the tree, and the hill on the ground, and the ground could never be seen, but the ground could never be seen. Forget that you are in 8, 9, 10. Imagine that you are in KG class, with KG class spirit, and KG class spirit, you have to sing as loudly as possible. Can we start? Okay, start. <laughs>
Did you like the song? Yes. Nice? Yes. Nice it is? Very good. Mr. Nas, Sasa, suppose we have a full song every day. How nice it is? <laughs> you want food, red button, or that you want money, or you want career. So along with the song, you want Nas, Science, Social, Hindi, Canada, English. And now we are going to 47 slide. How to study, how to face examinations. First, careers and all, because if there are 8th and 9th, I will take later. And special state careers, all the colleges, they are found for final BA, BSB, com, final MBA, com, 12th and 10th. But for this type of student, 8, 9, 10, first I will tell you, yeah, go to the next slide, how to study and how to face examinations. So far you have studied those who are in 8, 7 years, those who are in 10, 9 years. And now the examination facing has become so common that you are now accustomed. But then getting good marks is very important. These marks are not for your teachers, not for administrators, for your sake, for your parents' sake. Parents want all of you to go for a very good career and you also want to earn good money one day. And for that you have to prepare. Look at the first sentence, aim high, you will never be higher than your thoughts. The aim should be always to get 95, 90, 85, 80, 75. If you aim 90, you will get 80. If you aim 70, you will get 60. If the aim is 40%, you will get 30. If you think if the aim is 50, you will get 40, you get a third plus. You should not be like this. So you should have aim always high to be 10 standard, 98, which area you want to get later, doctor, engineer, teacher, or lawyer, fashion designer, sportsman, musician, dancer, all these one career. And marks 90, 80, 70. Look at the seven second sentence here. Two men look out the same path. One sees the mud, other sees the stars. To climb a big tree and look up to get the stars, sun, moon. If you look down, you get pebbles, mud. Meaning is, now in Holy Savior School, one teacher teaches maths, one teacher teaches science. Some students are getting 90, some are getting 80, some are getting 60. Why some students get 90, some students get 50, 40? Same teacher is coming, same school. Reason is, some people are looking at the stars, but some people are looking at the mud. Those who are getting more normals, more hardworking, ambitious, they will get the stars. You get the stars. Some are lazy, coming for the sake of teachers, never studying anything, simply coming for the exam and sitting, they get the money. I want all these children here, almost 100 of you, to get stars and not the money. Now, study. In your studies, there should be five steps. Like my five fingers are there. No? If these five fingers are effective, you can build a big building like this. Or go to Dubai, Burj Khalifa. How many of you have gone to Dubai? Anybody has gone to Dubai from here? Didn't go? Okay. Didn't go? Right. Burj Khalifa is a big building in Dubai. Okay. Now, like that, to build that, our five fingers should be used. Similarly, in studies, we have to use five steps effectively. And those steps are look at this listening, reading, writing, analyzing, and applying. We repeat now. First, listening, reading, writing, analyzing, and applying. So, okay, now your teachers, they are all BA here, BAC here. We have an engineer and then we have our MSc degree. So, possible that you have good teachers. Now, they come with a lot of preparations, and when they come to the class with preparations, your mind and body should be on the teacher. So, listening very, very carefully, listening. Then, you are going home. If you are going home, 
Let us say you are reaching home at 5 o'clock or 5.30. Then you have to start reading. After an hour free, one hour free. If you want two hours free, we can have games or films, anything, music, no time, walking, friends. But after all, every day, reading is a must. Monday syllabus Monday. Every day syllabus Wednesday. Every day syllabus Wednesday. First mass, which is tough. Next is science. Next is social science. Next, Canada, Hindi, English. <coughs> Same day you have to study. So that is the reading. Next, the writing. In science, you have got AC dynamo, DC dynamo, then biological cell, chemical equations are there, or preparations of flowing and other compounds. All this will not come only by what I should say reading. Take a book and start writing, so that is writing. Next is analyzing. Now you are small children, you have got textbook, you have got notes book, you have got light books. When you go for engineering, medical and big MBA courses, there are no textbooks. No textbooks are there, no guidebooks are there. Whatever teacher tells you how to listen and take into the mind completely. My daughter did engineering, electronics, but later got MBA. For MBA, big big professors came from industry. They came and gave a lecture and went back. No textbooks are there, no guidebooks are there. It seems when the lecture is going on, you have to ask in the mind how, why, what, when, take it, take it, you have to ask questions, then it's called analyzing. And then applying. You have got many tests. Now the students are test standard. Very soon you will be having the test. And then you have got final examinations. And many tests, why these tests are conducted? It's a problem for you, it's kiri kiri for you because of the test. And for teachers, it is a headache of driving. The spirit tests are conducted first to the taluk level, the taluk level, district level, state level. Why this test? This is to make you whatever you study apply. Just like driving a car. Okay? If you want to drive a car or a scooter, Clutch, gear, accelerator, in the hand, in the foot. You don't have clutch, gear, all these practicals, you will never become perfect. So, this practical is very, very important. Practice, and that is what applying. Okay, now, today we will the five steps. First, Without seeing, without seeing, you should tell me the five steps.
Now, these five steps should be practiced every day. Otherwise, no use. Now, give me a pen here. Okay. Now, see, if I just come to the uh, school and only listen, okay? If I only listen, my pen is in one hand, you see, one finger. And if I ask this boy, please take this pen, take the pen here, it, it, it comes out because it will not be typed properly. See ya? Only listening. If I start reading, listening and reading, now it is tight, you yeah, see. Now I ask this boy, you know the pen here? Yeah? Uh, see, it's not coming. It's very good in that. Not coming. At least, listening, listening and reading. Listening and reading, it has tightened. Along with that, I'm writing now, see? Three, three, three fingers. Up here, up here, up here. Not coming, not coming it is because it has tightened the grip. Next, I will take four, four here, analyzing also. Now, he will be very strong man. <laughs> Okay, science, you don't like 
always the mean of sit on the computer in front of computers but that is a good job software engineer that is his goal what about you what do you want to be a computer engineer uh, she wants to become a teacher in this school <laughs> she wants to become a teacher in only in this school how many of you want to become doctors okay put your hand Doctors? So many doctors. Oh. <laughs> there are ten doctors now. Yeah, ten doctors. But where are the patients? Patients are not there. You are opening a clinic near Jacobin. और कंट्रोल बाइक पास और ये मॉस्केट तो चिर का ठीक है नो प्रॉब्लम गुड डॉक्टर्स हाउ मेनी वांट टू बिकम पायलट एंड फ्लाई द एरोप्लेन्स हेलीकॉप्टर्स पायलट डोंट नॉट बिकम पायलट्स ओके नर्स गर्ल्स बॉयज नर्स हम यहां वांट टू बिकम नर्स सी वी हैव वन नर्स हियर हाउ मेनी पुलिस ऑफिसर्स Police officers. <laughs> how many? How many politicians? Politicians. <laughs> Self employment. Saw udyoga. Next month you get to saw udyoga. Lawyers. Lawyers. Sportsmen. Sportsmen. Oh. Musicians, musicians, dancers, dancers, fashion designing, fashion designing, interior designing. How many want to become engineers? Okay, engineers, so many. Very good. This is good. Thank you, Mr. Nick. Good in life. आप इधर बोल का यू आर लिस्निंग केयर टू मी यू फील लाइक लिस्निंग अदर यू विल नॉट लिसन टीचर कम टेल द क्लास स्टूडेंट्स आर सिटिंग लाइक दिस अदर डायरेक्ट में तुम्बे सेंटर स्कूल प्रिंसिपल गंगाधर आलो बोर्ड इज योर बेस्ट प्रिंसिपल अवार्ड इन व्हाट इट इज नमो शाली इवर मकर के एम इंटरेस्ट इन द नमगा की बर्ता है ना पाठ मारो कि यू ये तो बोलता है मेनी ऑफ यू दैट इज बिकॉज़ यू डू नॉट हैव गोल इन लाइक मंडेबर Two hours. Is there two hours? You are in which class? 
Ah, ninth. Okay, ninth. Two hours no problem. Okay. What about you? How many hours? Ah, two and a half hours. Okay. What about this boy? Go to the bathroom. One hour. One hour. What about you? Five hours. I love. Okay. Yes. Five hours. All of you. You and I just go to the bathroom. Let's see. Let me give you five hours for a day. The story books he reads. <laughs> I do not. Very good. Excellent. My office. What about you? How many hours do I need? Ah, four hours. Very good. Okay. Even though all over the world education is say three hours, B reading five hours, C reading four hours, something great. And if you see what happens in Gay and Nick, all in Gay in Delhi. Kota, Uttar Pradesh, people pass IIT exam, NIT exam, NEET exam, they are reading 6 hours, 7 hours per day continuously from 8 till 12 to become doctors, engineers, IITs, NITs, big institutions. So dear students, I don't say that you also should read 8 hours, 7 hours, 6 hours, but in case you want to become somebody great, Putting hard work for yourself, not for your parents, not for your teachers, for yourself, and three hours of reading per day, one hour for maths, one hour for science, these two are covered in the Kante Kai. Very difficult it is. If you master these two subjects, others will follow easily. Social sciences, Kannada, Hindi, English is not very tough it is. But these two subjects, because they are like a foundation for your life. I was always getting 100 in science and maths. That's how I could get marks with BSc plus right. So in your case also, in case you put a strong foundation for science and math, you will become successful. <coughs> Next one, writing. Okay, now you are come to the school, listening with, with the speaker. Going home and you are writing. The class began in the month of June. The exam is March 31st, after nine months. Even though you Listen, even though you read it, you will forget it after nine months. So what you should do is, you should write and practice. Just like driving a car. Okay. Anybody knows car driving here? Okay. Uh, he knows car driving. Scooter driving. How many of you know scooter driving? Oh, so many. Almost everybody knows scooter driving. Okay. A scooter, okay. bike and all. Clutch your gear, accelerator, take in the hand, take in the food. Okay, just because you are seeing somebody, now he is actually, you know, you know let us say, uh, driving a car. So he doesn't know. What he will do is, he will see how he drives the car, and then he takes the car and starts drives the car. He <laughs> comes to Agra, he will go to Agra. <laughs> because clutch you game, accelerator, and you should take in the hand, in the foot, you never become perfect. Same thing is true for learning. Unless you start writing, you see, in physics you have got AC dynamo, DC dynamo, so diagrams. How you can by heart that? And this write and practice, some parts are missing. See in your body, you have done everything. Eyes are not there, ears are not there, and it is missing. Same thing is true in physics, chemistry, maths, biology, or even in social science, the map. In the map, you have to write you know, some cities, some rivers, some mountains. And this is practice with the map, eh? it is not possible. So that way you have to do practicing what is called writing. A machine has no answer to us, a diagram has no answer to us, answer sheet is not of unnecessary words. When they get the answer paper, immediately start writing. Now there are 15 minutes break for you to read. Fortunately you are lucky, 15 minutes are extra given for you to read the question paper. After that, you have to start writing. Some people go on writing pages and pages, just like writing a love letter. Love letter, you got to write a love letter. Teachers are given a scheme of graduation. If these points are there, 
you give the marks. So only if the points are there, marks are given. In the same way, if you study very well, you get the points. Okay? Right? Very well. That's why you have to think carefully how I'll begin, how will put my words, which words I should give, which words I should end. This requires practice. When I was in 10th standard, I was reading SLC magazine, SLC Bandhu from Darwar, SLC magazine from Bangalore. Imam Vidya Tirvaga, Yerud Pustakaran, Bayamartha, the Pati Tingal of Malay, Darwar Dinda, Bandhu from Bangalore, actual magazine. And there, most likely questions, then tough questions, past 10 years questions, if you practice, any question papers by writing, you will know how much to write. Every word is not catchy and time is not enough. You are running out of the time. Important words are put there, just like you know, the machine has no answer parts. And next very important thing is here they are writing the form of Kerala for two exam sequence. Kerala Gundula, the exam for the headache, cold, fever, diarrhea. Some parents are telling when Monday exam is there or science is there, that go to toilet 100 times. Science exam in Vada, science exam in Vada, toilet in Vada, very good. Why you are going to toilet every day? You are hence, food is not digested, coming out. Full year, you were no careless and you never had no good revision. Last day you sat full night. Next day in the morning when you are getting up, no? obviously everything comes out because of fear. In case you are practiced, just like I said, driving a car, you know, if you are clutching your accident, you are practiced, you, know, you become perfect in writing. So, if you start writing by a having a rough every day, whatever you are doing, especially mass and science yes, students, you must write. Mass, there are so many problems. There are many guidebooks out there. Start working out. Only working out the problems will make you in the examination perfect. And not same problem which are given in the book. There are many guidebooks, past person papers, because they can change, change the words and so on. Format they can change. So you have to a practice of that, that is curing your exam sickness. Some people are coming to the examination for Baru Guru Parma. Madhu Guru Parma exam for the exam. Hence, some boys in my college, not small boys, big boys, they are machinery. One boy, all college union leader, among college union leader, you know college union leader, he is curing because who are never interested in the class. On the exam, the accountant said, we have a final big bomb, now totally nervous. If you start practicing now only, the exam is actually a pleasure, and you will never find that it's a tough place for you. Analyze. Some three years back, one girl in Bangalore got first rank in commerce and views in Karnataka. But not Catholic, first time, I'm going to give one. Our SLO, Rashmita M. For college, I was invited as a guest speaker that day. TV people came to her college, asked Rashmita, Rashmita, how did you get first rank in Karnataka? You know what she said? Sir, I did for any tuitions, but in that class, when the teacher was taking that class, I was asking why, how, what. Every vakya was Veda vakya for me. Every sentence was Veda vakya for me. And because of that, I managed. You know, what are our marks? Business study 100. Then accountancy 100. Computer science 100. Statistics 100. Sanskrit 99. English 95. She got 490. I got a 94 out of 600. And got plus track in Karnataka. All that we all go analyze within the class. Now you are in 10th, 8th, 9th, slowly you come to PUC. Then you go to engineering. Now your soul says to be the engineer. Okay? In engineering, you will give one new new subjects and very tough questions. If you don't ask why, 
how what they have. And at the master's level, MCOM, MBA, and MTech level and all, nothing is there in the text. Everything is reasoning questions. You have to ask questions there. The next one is applications. This is the examination. Now coming very soon for test and exam is coming. Our final exam, your preparatory examination. Like that, you had many examples in 8, 9, even in 10. All oh, these are very, very important examinations and they are applications. Next slide. Now, how to face examinations confidently? How to face examinations confidently? Coming to examination. First, carry your writing instrument, all take a pen, pencil, eraser, ruler, whitener, two pink pens, calculator, in some cases. Some people, what they do is, in a hurry they stop, right? and after has come, bus has come, with the point they are coming. If the point ticket is not there, actually you are not allowed to enter the hall. As soon as you get a point ticket from your school, take a Xerox copy. Xerox copy is not valid, the contract will take a color photo which carries some 5 rupees or 10 rupees. It is just like the original copy. Many times you will forget it. So before dressing out, first pack your bag with a hot ticket. And then pen. Some people are bringing only one pen. In that one pen, the ink is only this much. After writing 15 minutes, ink is finished. And students are asking. So when the ink is not okay to see, it will be there. pen put there after. So many times in my college, students have asked. Sorry sir, my pen ink is all over. For the exam say, spend some 10 rupees, buy nice pens, not brand new. Some brand new pens are not working. <laughs> Use smart pen, what is smart pen? I'm the old air pen. And then you cannot ask, give me eraser, give me ruler, my practice. Examination mark practice, all these things you have to take along with it. Previously, prepare well and sleep well. Some people don't read now, don't do in the year for the days. Examination day previously, whole night you are in. Yes, students, I have studied Bharat in the UC. Bharat, you what? All this is. Aim requires minimum six hours of sleep, rest. If you don't take six hours of sleep, next day in the exam for brain sleep. You have mass exam and science exam, but whole night you study. Next thing the exam for blank because you didn't take rest. Six hours of minimum six hours of sleep is a must for making good rest. You should take now more time for studies. Exam time you read less, take more rest, and peace of mind should be there. Should not be tense. Some people exam time, last minute also they go over study. Okay, give me a book. I'll just show you how the students are studying. Exam is now say 10.30. So 10, 25 students are entering there. And they have been what they are doing? I will even say what the parish is. All the good by that much. Nothing is remaining. You become tensed and then your friend is coming. What a mukhi of the usual. What that is, you can bail out with me. Those who spoke okay, this, exam time, don't ask for intelligent friends. Tell the world, tell the world, tell the world. Don't ask, don't talk to anybody. Full 10 minutes, 15 minutes rest. Come and sit inside. Mind become fresh. <coughs> and you will forget all the attention. Enter the hall with confidence and positive thinking. Ten minutes before, you might have failed in maths, might have failed in Kannada or the science. But that day, you have no confidence. I will pass. I will get to mark. There is choice. Some questions I may not know. Some questions I might have failed in the last exam. <coughs> but this time, I will do very well. If you do think like that, positive thinking, 
mind becomes no completely open, otherwise it becomes blank. Whatever you have read, no, forget it. Next, read the subject again and again for 15 minutes. Now, alternative argument time. But in, in Mango, Karnataka only, other countries are now, they don't do that right. They will only want to do the uh, active to the exam. Suddenly they come to one exam. All of a sudden. You are lucky that you are given 15 minutes time. Each question for again and again is right. Now look at that. Answer first most those questions which you know badly. Let me know that one. Question number seven. Out of ten, question number you are reading so for 15 minutes. Question number seven, you know correctly. So first write question number seven. Then question number three, B, you know, you write that first. And question number say, 12, A, you write first. First page you have written correctly, second page you have written correctly, third page you have correctly written correctly, fourth page you have written correctly. Then what happens to students? Newton's first law. Object which runs at a particular speed will continue to run in the same speed unless somebody puts a break. Teachers are human beings. I was a teacher for 35 years. You know what psychology of the teacher? In the first page is correct, second page is correct, third page is correct, fourth page is correct. The teacher is fully tired by writing everyday papers. She gets impression that this boy, this girl is a very good student. In the first page, second page, third page. And later they did not read everything. Automatically marks are tempted to do more. My experience it is. On the corner, let us say this person is a rank student. But first question only which she writes is wrong. Mask it. After writing the first two lines, she forgets. Cut. First impression, best impression, first impression, last impression. In case you give the first impression back, even the rank student's marks may be tilted towards lesser marks. I will tell you what I used to do in Hindi language. Those days, 50 years back in Hindi, I was reading always 99-98, where normal students were getting 80. Now, for a Canada people are getting 100 out of 100. Even our days, it was maximum some 80, 85, more, not more than that. But I was making the teacher to give me Hindi 95, 99. You know what I should do? First, I used to go for grammar. In grammar, five questions were given that time. Answer three. Each one 5 5 marks, 15 marks. In Katil school, I was actually I studied in the Pratama, Madhyama, Rajbhasha, or we had a sir called Keshav Bhatt. Keshav Bhatt made all the students who were interested learn extra Hindi lessons. I joined those classes in India, Hindi Ratna in high school. So I had full mastery of Hindi for Independence Day, for October 2, November 14, January 26. I was making speeches in Hindi in high school. That was the word I had. So first I used to write grammar. So 15 out of 15 full marks. Then I used to go for translation from uh, in English to Hindi. Again 15 marks are there, full correct. Next I used to go for writing a poem. That time we had to write a poem. By heart and write a poem. Again 15 marks. Then I used to go for two small questions of two marks. Again full marks. What I was telling my teacher is, I am a rank student. I should get marks just like mass. So first 15, next 15, next 15, 50 out of 50 I got. Next automatically 10, 15 marks questions. He used to give some 14, 13. That's how he could get marks. So there is a way of making the teacher fall in love with the paper. One with nice presentation. Next by writing the first 5, 6 pages beautifully. So that the teacher should think that you are a very good rank student. Next see there. Write main question number and some question number without forgetting. Some questions write asked ninth A. Then they write B, no touching the A only. Teachers are value asked, they think A and B is same answer and they will not give any marks only because they are not left some space. So what should be is ninth A, then leave some two centimeter, three centimeter space. Ninth B over, again leave some space. You are given enough number of paper, big book is given. Don't worry about pages and all. Otherwise, you have got a ruler and a pencil, a line. For that, one question is complete. We mark it from the second one. Teachers will have to give marks to all the questions. If you write overlapping answers, answers close and all, 
this action so tired, there is a possibility that they may not do the marks only. That's why you have to write main number 9A. They wrote 9. How many people write B? Don't write 9B, 9C, 2A, 2B, 2C. We can't write the same. Look at this. And that is the same. We can write the same. You are English. Some people English is like Malayana. Teacher is cannot, they cannot read. Okay. I know my students, especially boys. Boys are handled to hear only their own door. Kage Karunda. Girls, girls are getting good marks because their handwriting is good. Mostly, boys, one mistake is they never care for handwriting. Yes, student, because of that you are losing the marks. I went to Nitya school. After my talk, the headmaster came and told, for oh, handwriting, 15 marks automatically come from the teacher's hand. There are no separate marks in the handwriting. If the handwriting is very good, the teacher is forced to give more marks. So you have to, your handwriting is bad. What to do is, first page, write slowly, beautifully. Second page, write beautifully. Third page, write beautifully. But take extra time. You go with the same time, time is not enough for you. Later you write at the normal speed. You are showing the beginning part two, three, four pages that you are a good student, the handwriting is good. Handwriting is very, very important. If the handwriting is not good, no, you will not get. After 10, Dr. Manu, there is a sign complex near PSR to see bus stand or Manu Corporation. On the KSR to bus stand, Sardin complex on the first floor, there are two places that handwriting improvement classes are there. In 10 days or 15 days, you are going to get the best handwriting. I don't want to give the name because we are advertising for somebody. Go to Google and find out in Mango handwriting improvement classes where exactly are there. Address, phone number you will get. Go and join there. I want all of you because you are so children of 10 years. We are in 10th standard. You still have 2 years PUC, 4 years degree, now degree is 4 years and 1 year post graduation. So that means you have another 2 plus 7 years of studying in master's degree. And that time, the handwriting counts quite a lot. Now with this, I finished the first part of 